This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, build your online presence with Squarespace. Hey everyone, Ace of Clay here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another sculpting video. But if you're new here, thanks for clicking. I hope you enjoy your stay. I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. And today I'm continuing my mutant universe with my first fully good character. So a couple months ago, I started this mutant universe after sort of being inspired by the art direction in the video game Little Nightmares then it kind of just blossomed into this whole completely separate thing that is just a sort of somewhat complete world that just kind of lives in my head and every character that I've released so far has been I guess evil an evil mutant and today I'm releasing the first good guy now this guy is not the main protagonist or anything like that but he is a character that will assist you and help you navigate the darker realms I'm calling these characters guides and this is the first one his name is Pumpkinhead, and of course I'll be telling you way more about him later on in the video so make sure you watch the whole thing so you don't miss anything and then I'm just gonna mention one last time the Mutant merch is available right now. It is only going to be available for one more week, so until Thursday, June 10th. So you got to snag your merch. This design with all of the mutants from season one is on t shirts, hoodies, phone cases, mugs, all that. Check it out. The link is in the description box below, and they are displayed in my merch shelf. So again, check that out. It is going away next week. And now, without further ado, if you want to come on this journey with me, bringing this new good character to life in my mutant universe, then hit like like, hit subscribe, check me out on Instagram and Twitter, and let's get started. All right, let's get started. I've got my wooden plaque here with the two holes in it. Accidentally drilled a hole that was too big, so I filled it with clay. Now I'm going to build the armature. We're going to do the legs and the torso, bulk him out, and then start adding our clay. And then, as always, all of the materials and tools that I use in this video are listed in the description box below, along with my affiliate links if you want to purchase anything. All right, now I'm going to secure the waist with some more wire. Like that, and then we're going to add some more wire for the arms. All right, now that that looks pretty good, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna bulk out the torso with some aluminum foil. He's so skinny, I don't really have to worry about using ultralight today, so we're just gonna use the foil and then cover that in some clay. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now we're gonna do some old school Ace of Clay and we're gonna secure that foil with some tape. <laughs> I used to do all of my sculptures like this before using ultralight. And this just ensures that the foil is all together and you're not gonna have any air bubbles. Like you see this extra piece I added here. It's going it can peel off like that and you don't want that. So we're just going to put some tape over that. And this is painter's tape. Um, you can use masking tape, of course. That's always what I used to use. This is just what I have laying around. All right, cool. Check that out. So now we're gonna start adding our clay. For this project, of course, I'm using Super Sculpey Original. Now, before I start adding clay to the wire here, just want to put some bacon bond on it to make it stick better. Within every level of the mutant universe reside the guides. The guides are a source of good who spend their lives servicing the living and navigating the dark realms of the universe. Once targeted by the entity, the guides pure hearts withstand the evil unleashed upon them. And instead of being transformed into a mutant, they are safe and become guides instead. They lose their original identity and take on the face of an animal and possess one of its dominant traits. Today, I introduce you to the one known as Pumpkinhead, the rabbit guide, named for his abnormally large head and former profession as a farmer. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna work my way up with some snakes of clay, make these pants look all nice and wrinkly. <laughs>
So Pumpkinhead was a farmer, harvesting crops and making a living for himself and his family. There was not a bad bone in his body. After surviving the attack of the entity, he became the rabbit guide and received the gift of speed. He had to abandon his former life and spend the rest of his days helping others escape the grasp of the mutants. Alright, now before we continue on with Pumpkinhead, let's talk a little bit about the sponsor of today's video. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Whether you're just getting started or you're an established brand, the Squarespace commerce platform supports the way you do business. Whether you're looking to sell products directly or even bill for your services, they've got you covered. Personally, I love Squarespace for their portfolios and galleries. The portfolios are so professional and so beautifully designed that I know they're going to show my work in its best light. And I really like the customizable galleries that I can even password protect for clients. One of my favorite Squarespace features is the ability for me to sync all of my social media content to my homepage or really any page of my website for that matter. So if all of this sounds good to you and you're ready to start your own website, then head on over to squarespace.com, start a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash aceofclay to save 10% on your first website or domain. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Now to finish off the overalls, I'm going to roll this textured edge of my sculpting tool all over the surface to just give that nice denim texture. It's a super easy and super effective way of creating fabric texture. And it doesn't need to be in every little crevice, it just can be in some areas just to get the point across. But it really looks nice, especially when you start antiquing it with paint, it really pops off. This guy is looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to pre-bake him just so when I add the arms and the head, I'm not smashing anything. So let's go ahead, get him in the oven, and I'll be right back. All right, now that he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time for the arms. Let's do those, and then we'll work on his head. I'm really excited to get to his head because I'm gonna do something different that I haven't really ever done before. If you're lucky enough to be helped by Pumpkinhead in the event of a mutant attack, he will appear out of nowhere. He moves so quickly that you can't see him unless he's still. He will observe the situation briefly, take you by the hand, and bring you to safety far away from the mutant that was seeking you. He doesn't speak, and only gestures. But somehow you know exactly what he's saying, as if his words become thoughts in your mind. All right, now that the body is done, I'm gonna go ahead and start the head. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna sculpt his ears because they're gonna be sticking out from behind the mask. The mask is only gonna cover the front of his head. You'll be able to see his hair behind it.
All right, now that we got those ears on, let's start the mask. So I think what I want to do for the mask is I want to sculpt the face of it first and then we'll put the edge on. I want it to be very simple and geometric. I don't want it to look like an actual bunny. I want it to be like very, very, very simple, very like modern looking. All right, now for the ears, I'm going to stick in a couple toothpicks to support those. All right, there we go. We got our creepy bunny mask on this guy. Let's go ahead and add it to the body. All right, there we go. Looks pretty good, exactly how I want him to actually. Now let's pop him in the oven, bake him, come back, do his hair, and then we can bake him one last time and paint. So, be right back. All right, now that he is out of the oven and baked, I can go ahead and safely add his hair, and then we're gonna do one final bake. Aside from intercepting attacks, guides can direct you to safety if they sense danger. Take their words seriously and do what you're told. It could be your life on the line. And now that he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time for paints. All the paints that I'm using in this video are folk art brand matte acrylics. Unfortunately, every instance of a mutant attack or upcoming danger is not deflected by a guide. Guides are vastly outnumbered by mutants, and it's believed only 13 exist. Pumpkinhead, 
was the first guy to come to be, as he has the purest heart. When you're approached by a guide, you will feel an overwhelming sense of calm, as if you've never been more comfortable. You will feel warmth, as if you're sitting by a fire in winter, and you will feel a sense of love that you've never experienced. The danger that was once imminent is gone, and you are safe and free of its clutches. To be continued. And he's done! The first guide for my mutant universe is complete. Let me know what you think of him in the comments. Alright, I had a lot of fun imagining this guy and coming up with the way that he looks. I think this is a great addition to the mutant universe, and honestly, I really wanted to break up all those bad guys I was making and bring some sort of light into this world. I know he's still creepy looking, he's still, you know, the way he is, but he is a completely good guy and I really hope you enjoyed his story. I had a lot of fun coming up with it, so of course, let me know what you think of him in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and then check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at of Clay. Don't forget to snag your Mutants merch. Again, it's only available for one more week. It's in the description box below and in my merch shelf, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.